This is really bright. What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to take a look at Monkey in a Box. Monkey is the box. Boxception Monkey. You'll you'll see what I mean. Let's go. Guys, so here on today we're going to be looking at a new-ish figure from 52 Toys, and it's a beast box, but it is kind of a weird, not custom, but special edition version of the JoJo, also known as the BB03PG, I don't know what the PG means, but it is the JoJobs, as you can see. So you have what is mostly the regular uh, JoJo box here, but it is kind of covered in stuff otherwise so you get like it's a little computer screen right there it is kind of supposed to be like a computer cyber thingy in the back there you do have the normal backing or also the instructions come over here you get the box form come to the back you get a whole bunch of stuff i can't read and you come to that side it says beast box and then whatever that says and then bbo3 pg so the jojo was the third beast box that existed Obviously, I've got the uh, 01, and I've had the 02, and therefore, or, <clears throat> and then, of course, everything after that, you know, but uh, this was the first JoJo I got. Now, I'm going to exclude the instructions back there, because they are the same ones you get with the normal JoJo, and we have this guy, but what we have is accessories and stuff that do come into play with this so that's his normal box charger and it is customized a bit it says print fc hello world something and then it's got you know rewind play fast forward and a progress bar and then you can sort of see jojo back in there but like i said he's got stuff for even this mode which is pretty neat we're gonna ignore that for right now all right, so you do get the obligatory clear plastic spring part. We're going to throw that away. Or rather, set it aside. And you can look at the accessories that he comes with for this mode. And you get a little keyboard there. And if one is so inclined, if you have a tiny wire, you could totally hook that up. And it does split in half. I think the intent was that it could be a shield or something at some point. Um... There's not much in the instructions except for setting it up like a computer. And then you do get a little mouse, which is pretty cool. This comes into play in his actual monkey mode, so that's a thing. So you do have your little keyboard, you have your little mousey mouse, like that. Now, we're going to look at the slightly updated catalog here real quick, because I love looking at these. So you can see the other models that are out there. So in this case, you have the JoJo, you have the Flame JoJo, regular JoJo. I have the Flame, but not the regular. We'll be taking a look at the Flame here in a second. We got Vanguard. We got him. We got normal Delta. We don't have the neon blue Delta. Open this up, and we see the cool stuff. So we got Elephanx, MoMA, neon blue MoMA. Of course, I have a couple of those, and I have the BBFD MoMA. We sort of looked at that before. And the Metal War Tail JoJo, Metal War Tail MoMA, and Metal War Tail Delta. I want all three of those, and I don't know where to get them. And then you got the Mecha Box over here, or Mega Box, I should say. That's the Alien. I do want to get that. It is available. I just haven't picked one up. And come back here. You got the D10. You got the BP D10. You got the Sakura. I have all those. We looked at those before. And we've got the Mahjong, got that, Ghost Dog, got that, Neon Blue, don't got that, I've actually I've never seen that one for sale, Metal War Tail Ghost Dog, which I would love to have, and then all of these limited ones down here that are all different versions of the D10 that I would also love to have, but one that isn't on here is the Camo, so this was pre the Camo, so the Camo ones came out later, but now they have the Camo Jojo, they have the Camo D10, I uh, don't think they have a Camo Momo yet. Camomo. Oh, Moma. Camoma. Oh, they better do that if they don't. He does have one last little accessory, but obviously we're not going to use that until later. We'll go ahead and set these off to the side, and we'll go ahead and get him out. Probably going to have to readjust my 
focus just a hair here. There we go. So there he is, all crammed in there, and you've got Hello World debug and all the stuff like that. He looks pretty cool, except he is really, really in there. Like, like no joke, he is really in there. So you're gonna have to shake him out. Now you could put the little box spring thingy in there. Box spring, I just got that. Um, but you know, I'm not keen on that realistically. I do like you got the caution tabs, you got ABS plastic box charger all this stuff on the box and then 52 toys logo on the back and it's the first one that isn't totally clear because it's the special computer looking one i'm gonna set it off to the side because we don't need it and there we have the box mode and you can see he's several different colors of tan and gray and white with some green like techie kind of highlights you've got then right there for some reason if one like, it's, it's almost like he's got uh, computer code written on him, kind of, is what's going on. But there you go. He's pretty cool. He sits like that. And he can sit. I've seen him be able to sit vertical like this, but he might not balance. I've always I've always suspected my table is a little bit off. This might be the proof. Oop, almost. He almost got it. Let's see if I can lower the camera a little bit more. There we go. Get down there. So... No big deal. I don't have anybody else in cube form, but we can bring out our other cube sort of shaped friend here for size comparison. So there's our Wally. Now in cube form, he is the same size as a MoMA or a Delta. They all are the same size in cube mode because they all fit in the same box chargers. So let's go ahead and try to get him transformed. Now, unlike a normal transformer, I'm not going to really talk over this. So we're going to go ahead and unplug the arms and rotate them back. And then that's about as open as that's going to get. You want to come up under here and push his head up and keep pushing it all the way up. I think that's about as far as he wants to go. Okay. And then, let's see here, what do we do? Go ahead and tuck this part up and bring this part. Yeah, there you go. You gotta push it till it snaps, then you fold the chest down, and then you adjust the head. Now you wanna bring the shoulders all the way forward, like that. And then you wanna come back here to the back, disconnect this, slide it down until it locks that keeps his spine from moving around then the legs kind of want to untab internally so the hips themselves are kind of tabbed in and then you can open up the foot okay sorry i forgot about that i was gonna fight it until i realized what i was doing so you untab the foot go ahead and rotate that around until he can stand on it. So if you didn't see that before, this part has a tab in and of itself. So you want to rotate all of that and then get him spun around. And then we come to the arms. Just grab and pull until they're fully extended. And go ahead and rotate shoulders around. Put his knuckles out where they can be useful. And boom. There we go. There we got Joe Jobs. And he's saying, oh, look at that. His knuckles, he's got a zero and a one. That's cool. All right, so essentially, you just have a little monkey man. And he's kind of posable. Because he is a primate, he is a gorilla. You know, he's a bit more posable than some of the other ones. And you do get the debug things here. Hello world on his chest. You got some nice green and white eyes popped out there. Very expressive, like angry face. Even has a little bit of a grimace going on. I really wish the mouth could open. It almost looks, almost looks like there's a hinge. I really wish they had given it a hinge, but he's actually very cool. I like that. The uh, main weakness here is the back legs because they're just kind of almost just there for decoration. You can sort of stand on them. You can rotate them a little bit. Make use of those feet. Really, it's his front knuckles that are doing all the work. 
Uh, the head is just on a ball joint. You can lower it down a little bit and can pick it back up. And of course, shoulder is on a ball joint right there and a ball joint there. And you got rotation there from the shoulder or um, uh, the, 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 the bicep. One of those things. I wish the hands could do something, but they're just per permanently monkey filled, I guess, however you want to say it. <laughs> And you can get him up on like three legs and be like menacing like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not done. So that's just him normal mode. I forgot. You got to bring out the monkey visor. I forgot. I'm sorry, Jojo. And I believe it goes. No, nope, it goes the other way. Okay. And really, you just kind of cram this on his face. So you do that, and you've got his little monkey visor, and you're supposed to take the mouse and attach it to the back like that. Sorry, now he's complete. I knew something was missing. I was like, wait, I'm not supposed to be able to see his eyes. I do wish that the keyboard was involved in this part of the transformation. I can't see a way in which it is. Like... You know, that untaps, but then you've got what is definitely some kind of clippy here. I don't know if these are meant to clip on somewhere. Like, it almost, almost looks like it should clip on right here, if I'm honest. So, these likely are supposed to go somewhere, but I, like I said, I can't find a way or a place. It's just... You know, it, it seems pretty obvious that they're supposed to be for something. But I can't see a spot to tab them on. I mean, even if that was just a tab, it would be good. Hmm. Maybe the hands? Because he does have this big slot right here. And the fist. I don't think it goes there. That wouldn't make much sense. I don't think it's like knuckle dusters. Keyboard, keyboard knuckle dusters, that would be interesting. Yes, this is where the review gets completely derailed by some innocuous thing. That always happens, though. Like, it's just, it's too obvious that they're supposed to go somewhere. But, like, why else would it separate unless it was meant to be a part of it? Hold on. But you know what, guys? I caught myself lying. The actual instructions are for him specifically, but the picture is not updated. But yeah, you can see here, you know, it's just that and that, and then the keyboard sitting there. Even going to bot mode, there's nothing I can find for the keyboard to do. And that kind of sucks. Like, it just, it looks like it should be able to do something. Especially considering there's a wire, and it's not like anything tucks away either. So that's strange. Like, that feels like an accessory that should work for something. Either way, so we're done with that. Let's bring out a normal flame Jojo. So you can see the major differences in the paint. And of course, this guy has a nice metallic plastics. And he's got the 99 on the chest. This one doesn't. Of course, you could put that visor on him if you're really keen on it. But, I mean, mold differences... There really aren't any. It's exactly the same mold. It's just a paint job difference, which I just realized how shiny this these are. These are nice and shiny. He's definitely, definitely evoking uh, movie, movie prime. Prime. And then, of course, the classic D10 for comparisons. You can see size-wise. And then, you know, MoMA is pretty much one of the bigger ones, but no reason to bring down everybody for this, but... But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the cool monkey box. If you like him, I suggest picking him up. I got it at the Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, it's a pretty decent price considering it is a quote-unquote like special edition. And yeah, these are a little pricey for what you get. But they, I mean, well, if you're considering size, they're, they're roughly the same cost as a deluxe uh, Transformer. But it's a you know small-ish company that's making a lot of big stuff happen and you know they're not an everyday toy it's not something you can just go pick up at walmart you know it's a pretty unique little situation and i love these things and i know most people who end up getting them also love them so 
I suggest it by all means if you like this particular version or you like this one or even the uh, like blue one, the crystal blue one by all means. Uh, go check them out. Big Bad Toy Store and a few other places. Just search 52 Toys or Beast Box. Uh, you should be able to find them. But next time we're going to be looking at the newest Beast Box that I could get my hands on, which I'm really excited about. Uh, but make sure you stick around for that. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new, which a lot of you pretty much are. So, you know, there's that. We keep growing. So, yay. And, of course, if you, uh, if you don't know about the main channel and you like Gundams and other model kits and stuff, go check that out. If you have not, of course, if you're here from the main channel, thank you. And, of course, if you want to help the channel out and keep it moving, make it help it grow, by all means, go join the Patreon. Become a patroneer. Like John, Thomas, and Megan. He likes Patroneers. That's right. <laughs> or get Shoki shirts and Shoki gear. Because uh, uh, JoJo would totally get a Shoki shirt. If he could fit in one. I still need to get some like small printed shirts somehow for my figures. I think that would be awesome. But I'll catch you guys on the next review. And remember, as always, to keep on nerding.